This cover of the Rolling Stone hit Satisfaction, broadcast on Saturday Night Live in 1978, had to have been one of the weirdest debuts in rock history. Even weirder, it catapulted this obscure art band from Akron, Ohio to international and sometimes mainstream success. I know you're probably familiar with this 1980 hit Whip It. You shouldn't dismiss Devo as a one-hit wonder. There's a lot more to this band than their so-called energy domes. And with the release of their new album, Something for Everybody, they're back to remind us just what Devo was all about. Every man, woman, and mutant on this planet shall know the truth about de-evolution. Oh, Dad, we're all Devo! De-evolution is the conclusion that Jerry and I came to when, after going to Kent State and um, the shootings that happened in 1970 while we were at school, and uh, we came to the conclusion that what we were observing was not evolution, but it was de-evolution. Are we not men? We are Devo. Are we not men? Devo. Well, Jaco Homo was the manifesto. That's, you know, that's like the communist manifesto. That's the Devo manifesto. You know, kind of like the outgrowth of the all the magazines from the 50s and 60s that showed domed cities and flying cars and people uh, enjoying a life of leisure by appliances and robots took care of everything. And we saw the opposite happening. Something for Everybody is their first studio release since the early 90s but they've continued to be productive members of pop culture, nevertheless. Mark Mothersbaugh has scored music for countless movies and TV shows, including numerous Wes Anderson films. And that hit I mentioned earlier has been used to shill just about everything under the sun. Whip It is like our most over-licensed song. You know, it's like it's been whip it, strip it, dip it, flip it. <laughs> But like aging gunslingers, Devo says the times demand they don their jumpsuits just one more time. Nowadays, you talk to somebody about de-evolution and just the, the condition of the world resonates with a lot of people. It's a beautiful world we live in, a sweet romantic place. The world we have today proves that de-evolution is real. Fundamentalists that live in caves holding the Western world hostage while we all cower in fear. Look at the BP oil spill. It's a beautiful world for you. It turns out the apocalypse was much closer to home, as they returned to a music business almost completely destroyed. It was kind of a whole different atmosphere at the company. It was like they were like we're um, an endangered species, and we know that the music business has imploded, the old model doesn't work. We're looking for the new model and we're looking for people that want to help us find that. And that was great. You got your left hand. You got your right hand. So Devo did something truly avant-garde and hired an ad agency. Where's Devo right now? Devo is outside the mainstream. They conducted extensive market research, including focus groups, to determine how to make the most pleasing product possible. My name is Jacob, and I'm going to ask you some questions about color today. I only ask that you stay focused and that you answer the questions as honestly as possible, okay? Okay. Obviously, it was all very Devo style, but it was very sincere, okay. too. The marketing research was actually used to define the most popular color, sounds, and imagery, truly making the record something for everybody. How long would you hold this song before dropping it? Minutes-wise? Um, five minutes. So, true to Devo's high concepts from the start, they satirize as they idolize. They flip the bird to moronic record execs. Those guys, they're the worst. While they court mainstream success. And 
and somehow it all seems to work for them. Toying with pop culture, a part of it, apart from it, but forever determined to undermine it. But the only way you really affect any change in this culture is really through subversion and who did it better than Madison Avenue.